is Warren Finlay. I've been here, I guess, as a professor for 25 years now in the mechanical engineering department. My background is fluid mechanics and aerosol mechanics, and uh, I teach those in, in the undergraduate level. And my research area is related to drug delivery to the lungs. Uh, Jason Carey, Department of Mechanical Engineering. I'm a professor here for nine years. Uh, my expertise is in solid mechanics, biomedical engineering, and uh, composite materials. Well, I guess the title sort of has some indication of what it's about. It's about some of these crazy myths that are out there about how, you know, an ice bullet can kill somebody or, you know, some of these interesting, I guess you could call them urban myths. Um, so the book is about looking at some of these urban myths, but from a scientific perspective. So we go through, in some detail, the science behind whether these myths are true or not. So we use advanced kind of engineering ideas to look at whether these myths could be true or not. So w one of the popular myths out there is that it need that you need a tank to actually be able to split uh, two phone books that are in interla interleafed. Um, and what I have here is a very small book that both have 20 pages. Um, and you know, you'd think that anybody here could actually split this apart. And I'll, I'll start by showing what one person could do. See, I'm, I am forcing. I cannot separate this. It's just pages interleaved. Yeah, There's just, no glue. Yeah. Just, and I'll show you after that this is no magic trick. So if, if Warren just want to hold it, make sure put pull on it. We're not going to separate this. This is not glued together. So. Warren and I developed the course uh, Mechie 415, which is um, Busting Myths with Analysis. Um, and we really found that through that course, our students got really engaged in trying to understand a little bit more how to use the tools that they learned through their undergraduate program. Um, and doing it in these uh, outside the usual engineering box type of problems, they found it very fascinating. And we thought that this would be probably be a very good way of helping the more general community also try to learn a bit more about science and trying to make it fun at the same time because the book does have humor as much as two profs were able to do it. It was also an issue as to whether we could explain this myth at a level that would be understandable. Some of the myths are just th the analysis and what's needed to understand what's going on is just a little too complicated to bring down to a level that your uh, average person would be able to follow. Um, so we had to kind of choose the myths based on which ones are easier to explain. Right, so the myth is that the water in a sink or a bathtub or a um, whatever, um, well, I guess in the, in the Simpsons episode is the toilet. Um, the myth is that it rotates one way in the northern hemisphere and another way in the southern hemisphere. So, and that's because of the Coriolis force. So, uh, to look at that, you can do a simple experiment. You could do this in your sink or your, or your bathtub if you wanted. Um, so, but this is, uh, simulates what would happen in a sink. So we have, uh, when I get it upside down, it'll be a sink. But so, if I turn this upside down and you watch, um, right now it just kind of glugs and nothing happens. Um, it doesn't spin one way or the other. Um, but if I give it a little bit of rotation one way before I get it, then we get a vortex one to one way, and it drains nicely, you get a nice bathtub vortex. If I have it spin, the other way, before I let it go down the drain, it spins the other way. So you can make this thing spin whichever way you want. And there's a scam on the equator. People on the equator scam tourists by having a bucket of water with a drain on the bottom, and they, they stand on the equator, and then they say, watch, and they, they watch go down one way, and then they step across the equator. And when they step across, they spin, and that spin is enough to make it go the other way across the other side of the equator. So. So on this one, it'll go whichever way you spin it. Mm -hmm. Though the real world isn't as complicated as it is, and, and it can be fun to look at science. And if we can attract more people into sciences, I think that's, uh, we've, I've reached my goal at least. Yeah, I think from my perspective, just getting people to realize how much you can understand of the world with some interesting science and engineering tools.